Motor Week is made possible by rockauto.com. You might remember a few weeks back we introduced you to Chevy's new Corsica four-door sedan, the first Chevrolet product of GM's reorganization, and we said it was a fine family car design. Well, now we're going to show you Chevy's new Beretta, the Corsica's two-door companion. It uses many of the same parts as the Corsica. But over the past few years, Detroit has come to realize that a coupe has to be more than a family car with a slick body. So now we get to see how well Chevrolet managed with their first sporty product of their new era. At first glance, the Chevy Beretta GT bears the expected resemblance to the Corsica. But a closer look shows the Beretta is a much different animal. While we describe the Corsica as handsome and sensible, the Beretta is lean and aggressive with the same get-out-of-the-way styling that characterizes its cousin, the Camaro. From aerodynamic headlamps to a flowing roof line to flush wraparound taillights, the Beretta looks like it will slip through the air without a ripple. Even the unique door handles are flush mounted. They pull out from the door pillars, though we wonder if they'll freeze up and stick in ice and snow. The GT package adds full black trim, special wheels, and badges to complete the high-performance looks. And for performance, the GT gets the same 2.8-liter V6 that's optional on the Corsica. This multi-port fuel-injected power plant puts out 130 horsepower and 160 pound-feet of torque. The engine compartment is well laid out and, along with the Corsicas, is one of the best-looking and most functional in any car imported or domestic. The V6 allows the front drive Beretta to haul its 103-inch wheelbase from 0 to 60 in only 9.5 seconds. And our car ran through the quarter mile in a quick 17 seconds at 81 miles per hour. The five-speed Beretta is about a second faster than the V6 automatic Corsica we tested earlier. The Beretta GT gets the Muncie Getrag five-speed manual transaxle as standard. It's smooth shifting and more precise here than in the Cavalier Z24 and Celebrity Eurosport that share the same powertrain. The Beretta's handling is also up to its image. Our GT's optional Z51 sport suspension let it flow through the corners with hardly a stutter. The body roll was a bit more than we expected, and the steering lacked road feel. Although our car's extra-large Goodyear Eagle GT tires and 15-inch wheels added a lot to its road-holding ability. We tried the Beretta GT on Georgia's Roebling Road race course, and we found it takes most turns with the nose pushing gently to the outside. But the tail end will come around to even things out if you lift your foot. And as for torque steer, there isn't much to speak of, even in full throttle turns. But the brakes on our car were a disappointment. An average distance of 128 feet from 55 miles per hour was okay, but the pedal felt sloppy, and the front disc locked up too easily. The Beretta's interior shares much with the Corsica. It's modern and handsome with lots of head and leg room. The GT package includes upscale interior trim and a color-keyed sports steering wheel. As in the Corsica, the overall dash layout is quite good, with plenty of vents and a large storage shelf. The reclining front seats offer four-way adjustment and support is much improved over the Corsica. Chevy has changed the way the pedestal seats move, and now they work nicely. The analog gauges are complete, legible, and include an oil pressure gauge and voltmeter. Light and wiper levers are pod-mounted and work better than similar rotary controls on the Corsica. In both cars, the stereo and climate controls are housed in a pod under the dash, but the cigarette lighter and ashtray at the tip of the mini console are too far away. Door pockets, along with a generous drawer-type glove box, provide plenty of storage for long trips. The rear seat is typical sports coupe, which means it's a little short on head and leg room. Later models will have rear shoulder belts. The Beretta's trunk is huge with enough space for almost anything a coupe buyer would care to carry, with the high liftover and smallish opening to track from that advantage. On a long distance highway drive, our Beretta managed 31 miles per gallon. That's better than the EPA estimate of 19 city 27 highway. But the small 13.6 gallon tank cuts the car's range. Base price for the Beretta GT is $10,611. Our test car came to $12,853 with options. That's on par with most foreign competitors and cheaper than some of them. Our list of hits starts with the price. The GT is a genuine bargain. We also like its sharp Camaro-esque styling. 
Acceleration and handling are also good, and the Muncie Getrag transmission really makes the car come alive. Finally, we like the Beretta's excellent and complete gauges. Misses include the poor brake feel, a small gas tank, and the tight trunk opening. And we'd appreciate heavier steering feel as part of the Z51 handling package. In our safety check, the Beretta GT passes with halogen headlamps, radial tires, five mile per hour bumpers, and rear shoulder belts. It lacks only front passive restraints for a clean sweep. So let's get back to our original question. Is the Beretta more than just a two-door Corsica? Yes. Overall, it feels about 10 years younger. A convenient thing since Chevrolet expects to sell the Corsica to 35-year-olds and the Beretta to 25-year-olds. But we predict they'll also sell the Beretta to those of us who are a little older, but still 25 at heart.